The deadly danger and utter unpredictability of lightning strikes makes them difficult to study. But scientists at a research facility in Germany have found a way to overcome this problem. They've built a machine that creates artificial lightning. And even better, their test thunderbolts strike exactly when and where they want. Our volunteer, Louise Brady, is about to discover firsthand what it feels like to be directly under a lightning strike. Okay. Hot yep. Hot seat. Hot seat. Right. Yeah. It's too dangerous to zap an exposed human being with artificial lightning, so Louise sits in a car. Then the scientists use a series of giant transformers to create a charge of 850 kilovolts, enough power to arc from the generator to the car roof. Louise is told to sit on her hands. If she touches anything connected to the metal body of the car, the electric charge could be diverted to her own body, with potentially catastrophic results. I've been told I won't feel a thing. Luckily for Louise, the demonstration appears to be going to plan. The bolts of lightning flash through the metal roof and arc to the ground. The metal body conducts electricity more efficiently than anything else on the car, so the charge bypasses Louise as it finds the shortest route to the ground. OK, I can't feel anything. I can't feel anything. I mean, I can. I can feel me. I'm OK. I'm OK. <laughs> Louise senses the electric charge in the air, but feels none of the effects of a lightning strike. But what if it all went wrong? What would happen if she 